Hi guys, I'm back with the second part. So I already mod podged on these letters. They're attached here. Um, there's some extra pieces sticking up. I can just cut those apart now. Um, and then we can add them to the fridge. You can cut these in any shape you want, okay? Um, I get a little bit uh, sharper scissors because depending on how sharp they are, uh, it might tear your paper. Um, you see there's little extra pieces there. You can go through and just trim off those little pieces um, with your scissors. If you want to cut them into a different shape, you can. Um, like I said, I was making an alphabet for Max. Um, I'm also working on a second piece thing that's going on right here. Um, so I could, I'm gonna go through and get all those cut apart. Uh, I already did my word Max, but I am creating a little saying right here and it says we're strangers become friends and friendships last forever um, I was gonna put it underneath the heading the top here I really like that logo then I was gonna add this underneath it so um, let's begin it so what I did was I colored a background and now I'm gonna attach my background to the magnet but I'm gonna do it in such a way that I'm gonna leave it slightly below my duck leaves. So you could put any sort of quote below it. Remember the first thing we're doing is adding the Mod Podge right down here. If you have a set thing that you wanna add, um, you might wanna again make a Sharpie line on it. For me, in this case, I'm not making a Sharpie line. I have the white top of the um, uh, calendar here that I'm using to guide my lines. Um, I'm adding a lot of glue, but not trying to make puddles. So when I'm done, I'm going to take this and I'm going to lay it on and I'm going to try to line it up right with that top white line. Make sure all the sides are covered. Hold it down. Any extra pieces, I just wipe right up. Okay, so I have a little bit of white at the top, shifting it slightly. There we go. So now, I'm going to trim the bottom off and just cut that bottom part right off and this is kind of like totally up to you how you want to make this piece I just really enjoy the idea of making my own magnets um, so then I'm gonna lay these eyes out to make sure I have all my words correctly in the correct order I will start my project them on so think of it as like just glue that I'm adding on, guys. Um, I put some Mud Podge on the back. This time I'm using, I've used Sharpie, so it's not as big a deal if I get um, Mud Podge on the top here of my words. Um, it is important that I paint over top of them, though. Just know if you do get Mod Podge on your magnet near the top, it's not the end of the world, but you're gonna have some brush stroke lines if you choose to paint over it. So I'm painting over the top of my Wear Strangers now, just making sure it's all secured on. You can get some Mod Podge at your local grocery store or at Michael's or any craft shop. I'm gonna go ahead and glue this last little piece on with my Mod Podge and make sure I've painted over everything. Wipe off any extra Mod Podge I got on the back. Try to have your brush strokes all the same direction. If they're not, guys, um, that's when you're gonna really get distracted by the way they look. So I'm just painting over it. Okay, I lift it up. I'm going to make sure I wash my brush right away so it doesn't turn to plastic. There we go. And I'll show it again once it has dried. So guys, to finish, just put them on your fridge and then you can play them around and write new messages. Um, I have the old 20, I have the 2021 there and I have the 19 there. And then also the message. Um, enjoy. It's a fun activity and we miss you and I can't wait to see you next summer.